Hello, welcome to another Informatica video tutorial. My name is Fernando Guerrero. I am a cloud solution specialist. And in this video, we are going to talk about some tips when you are reading information from Redshift uh, using Informatica Cloud Connector. In this video, we are going to learn how many read modes we have available and when is the best to use one of them over the other one. Also, we are going to see other settings that we can apply uh, depending of uh, how you want to process the information. Uh, then I will show a, a small demo of when you need, where you need to uh, apply those settings. And at the end, I will send you some links uh, with information uh, about all those connectors. So in the Redshift connector in the cloud, we have two read modes, staging and direct mode. And it's important to understand what happens with each of them and when it's best to use one over the other one. The staging mode, uh, if you want to read data in not a specific order, then a staging mode is your best option. And also if you want to get the best performance when reading data, also staging is your, is your best option. So what happens here? It's going to, the connector is going to read information from Redshift into S3 and then from S3 into some staging files in your server. So you need to specify also the name of one bucket and you need to specify the folder where you can save those staging files. So you don't have to worry, uh, those staging files will be deleted automatically once the mapping finished. So you don't have to worry about the space. And you can combine this with other options that you will, we will see in the next slide. And it's going to give you the best performance or also it will help you to deal with all, uh, some special characteristics about your data. Uh, we also have the direct mode and this is good if you need to read that information in a specific order. So in this way, it's going to bring the data directly from, from Redshift. Uh, the performance is going to be a little bit slower, but if you need to download that data in a specific order, then direct mode is the best. You don't need a S3 bucket, you don't need to specify um, a folder, and also the settings that we are specifying uh, in the unload command, they are not applicable for, for direct mode. So, as I mentioned before, we have other settings that we can apply, and these ones are available when you are using the staging mode. These settings will help you to deal with some characteristics about your data, or also the behavior of how you download the data. For example, we have one option uh, called Parallel, and this will help you to get the best performance. Uh, as I mentioned before, when you are using staging, uh, you bring the data from Redshift to S3 and then from S3 to staging files. If you use Parallel, when you are bringing the data from S3 into your staging file, all that data will be divided into different blocks and you will download all those blocks in parallel. So this is what this is what is going to give you the advantage in performance over not using parallel or when you are using direct. It's just that parallelism. Uh, next, we are going to see uh, a little demo of, about where you need to specify all this information. And here you can see a simple mapping. It just has a source and a target. And we want to focus only on the source at this moment. Okay. So this source is, is reading information from, from Redshift. So if we come here to the source, we can see our Redshift connector is reading one simple object. Well, if you come here in the source to the advanced section, here you're going to be able to see the read mode. And here's where you have to choose if you want to use staging or if you want to use direct. If you use staging, you need to specify uh, what is the name of your bucket uh, and in your server where you have installed the agent you need to specify here the path where you want to place um, the staging folders make sure that you have enough space uh, and here in the unload option, here is where you can specify other settings. For example, when, when I talked about the parallel, uh, here. Yeah, so this is how you specify all those settings. And if you want, you, you can add here uh, other settings. Now, if you decide to use direct, 
then you don't need to specify the bucket name. Um, you need to specify uh, the path, and you don't need to specify that one too. Uh, but um, it is good that you specify the fetch size, so you you can tell how big should be the block of data that you are going to be loading from uh, from Redshift. And that's all. This is how simple you you specify all those parameters and where and where you can specify those ones. And here you have some links to the Informatica documentation. You will find detailed information about the topics that we have been talking in, in this video. If you have any feedback, you can send us an email or you can also send us a message in our Twitter account. Thank you very much for watching this video.